Hello, today is October 9th, 2015, and this is the Spear Week edition of the Weekly Bearcat News. I'm Bree Penrod. And I'm Olivia Spreadlin. We will start with middle school announcements first, then move to high school announcements. Middle school's nine weeks of war is coming up soon. Students that are eligible will take a trip to Site Mound and have apple cider and hot donuts. Rachel's challenge meetings for the middle school are held on Mondays and Fridays during lunch in Mrs. Nisley's room or the study hall room. So far, there are no 7th graders in the group, so if you're a 7th grader, please consider joining. Students have a kindness school each week, and they help out with community service with the Junior ROTC. Join this club to help make our school and our community better. High School Students of the Week were Casey Williams and Adam Bales. Nice job, lads! Wednesday night, the freshman powder puff team won the final game against the junior team. Good job. Next week's club meetings for the high school include Anime Club on Monday, Bible Study on Tuesday, and SCS on Friday. All are during lunch. Yearbook is doing a Yankee Candle fundraiser. All orders and money must be in by October 19th. Be sure to support our yearbook club. Visit www.yankeecandlefundraising.com and enter the group number in the start shopping box. Then shop for catalog items and online exclusives to help them reach their goal. Seniors, be sure to send in your senior and baby pictures soon. Homecoming is tomorrow, October 10th. The dance starts at 8 and ends at 11. That's all for current events. Now to Bryce Duncan and Nick Willen for the weather. Tonight's 2015 homecoming game between the Paint Valley Bearcats and the Southeastern Panthers should be dry. Thunderstorms are likely around late afternoon with highs in the lower 70s. By game time, winds are from the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour with temperatures in the mid 60s. Make sure you dress accordingly. Tomorrow, October 10th, the homecoming dance. We will have mostly sunny skies with a few passing clouds, a high of 66, and winds from the north-northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Ladies, bring a jacket because after the dance, it's going to be cool. By Sunday, October 11th, we have sunny skies with a high in the lower 70s, winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. On Monday, we will have mostly sunny skies with a high in the upper 70s and a 10% chance of rain and winds out of the south-southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. By Tuesday, there's a high in the lower 70s with generally sunny skies. Winds are coming from the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. On Wednesday, October 14th, again, a high in the 70s with, a, with sunny Guys, a 10% chance of rain and winds from the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then on Thursday, a nice 70 degree high with mainly sunny skies. A small chance of rain and winds coming at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Overall, it looks like a great week. Mild temperatures and mostly sunny skies. Now over to Peyton with Sport TV Sports Updates. I sense. Congratulations to our junior high football team for being 6-0 this season. Our cross-country players of the week are Gracie McAllister with a 29 minute in her first match. Bryce Duncan PR'd by 2 minutes with a 22-21. Their next meet is at Guignota at 10 a.m. Last Friday we had our first loss to Zane Trace, 15-8 in overtime. Caleb Johnson received player of the game because he had 16 tackles, 6 causing a loss, and 2 sacks. Now on to volleyball. Last Thursday's game at home versus Piketon resulted in a three-game loss, 25-18, 25-17, and 25-11. Liam McFadden, player of the game, had great sportsmanship, leads and kills. JV lost in a two-game match, 19-25 and 16-25. October 6th at home versus St. Trace lost in three games, 25-8, 25-5, and 25-19. JV also lost in a two-game match, 11-25, 16-25. Be ready for Sunday. Tournament will be placed. Hey guys, Russell Chapman here. Uh, tonight's game is the homecoming game, so be sure to wear your black and gold and support Payne Valley. See you there tonight.